Hey everyone, Kelly Money here with Nanlite USA, and today we're going to answer the age-old question, what is the difference between the Forza series and the FS series? So when we're comparing them, I would think that the best place to start is what are their similarities? Basically, both of them are monolights. They're made out of carbon fiber. All of the lights have locking yokes that allow you to kind of just put the light in any position that you want. And with the exception of the smaller Forzas, the 60 and 60B, they all have 90 degree holes that let you mount them either horizontally or vertically. Also with the exception of the smaller guys, the Forza 60 and Forza 60B, they all have Bowen style mounts. Now that's a really significant feature across these two lines because this allows you to really use any of the Nanlite uh, modifiers that have Bowens mounts to them. And also if you have your own Bowens mount modifiers already, you could use these lines with the ones that you already have. So you may be asking yourself, what exactly are the differences then? What is the difference between the Forza line and the FS series? And why is one more expensive than the other? So as we dive into these differences, that's probably gonna be answered for you. The first thing we should talk about is the fact that the Forza series come with their own carrying cases. So when you receive it and you unbox it, the first thing you're gonna see is the carrying case. And it has different sections for all the different parts of the light. And you can put it over your shoulder and you can go on location and you can pretty much take it wherever you wanna go. So the FS series of lights, they don't come with their own carrying case because we kind of geared that entire line more towards studio shooters and less towards people who are on the go. And focusing again on kind of the ergonomics of the lights themselves, with the exception of the Forza 60 and Forza 60B, all the Forza lights have a ballast and that's where you'll find the menu and the knobs and the navigational system. That's also a place where you can put a V-mount battery or two depending on the light and you can take it on location with you just along with the bag and everything else that allows it to be more of a mobile system. So the FS series doesn't have a battery option. They don't have ballast. You just plug directly into the light because they're meant more for just in-studio use. They're not really meant for taking on location. So sticking with the ergonomical differences, one of the things I actually really like about the FS series is that every single light in the series has an umbrella mount, which is a nice option to have in terms of like, instead of having a big soft box, maybe you just want nice soft light being reflected off an umbrella or to shoot through an umbrella. And you can do that with absolutely any of the FS lights. The Forza series of lights, the majority of them don't have an umbrella mount. The only exceptions are the Forza 200 and the Forza 300B. So the major difference between these two series of lights are the chips in the lights. So the Forza series of lights has a cob chip and the cob chip allows for more intensity. So across the board, the Forza series is brighter than the FS series. And the FS series has a CSP chip. And that chip, although it's not as bright as the cob chip, it adds kind of a softer quality of light that a lot of photographers like to use. So who might want to use the Forza series of lights and who might want to use the FS series of lights? So if you're a filmmaker and you're on the go a lot and you're on location and you need that battery power option, you need that carrying case ready to go, the Forzas are probably your better bet, especially if you want more intensity of light. So who might use the FS series? If you're a photographer who's working in the studio a lot, you don't have to go on location and you like that soft quality of light, the FS series might work really well for you. I also know that a lot of photographers nowadays are being asked by clients to shoot a little bit of video, shoot a little something for social media, for Instagram stories. And continuous lights and mono lights with this kind of quality can really help you do both images and motion. Okay guys, so that's the difference between the Forza series and the FS series. I'm hoping we answered all of your questions. If we missed something, please let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.